Hi, my name is Amber, and this is my review for Geekerella by Ashley Poston. First, I'm going to do a spoiler-free section, so I will let you know when spoilers start, but for now you will be fine if you haven't read this. Geekerella is a story of Elle, who is an insanely huge fan of the show Starfield. She's a huge fan of it because of her father, who was a giant fan of the show and basically is the reason why she loves it and knows about it. After her father dies, she is stuck with her stepmother and her two stepsisters. Now Starfield is being rebooted. It is getting a brand new movie with a brand new cast, and Elle decides to enter into a cosplay contest to try to win tickets for the movie and get out of town and away from her stepfather. Family. Now, though she wants to win tickets and see this movie, she is also nervous about it because she does not care for the lead actor. Now, it is multiple point of view, and the other point of view is from Darian, who is that actor. But what no one knows is that he is actually a huge fan of Starfield himself. This is such a heartwarming, adorable story. I honestly could not stop grinning throughout the entire book. I loved every moment of this. If you understand what it's like to be part of a fandom and to love a show or a movie or some kind of franchise so much that you cosplay as them and go to conventions and you talk about them all the time, and um, then you will definitely love this. It not not only brings in a new fandom that these characters relate to, but it also mentions multiple different fandoms that you might recognize throughout the story. Because of how strong the fandom side of this is, you will relate to these characters so easily and so well and will love them automatically. This is such a fun, hilarious, sweet, adorable read, and I easily without a doubt gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Now I'm going to move on to the spoiler, so if you haven't read this yet, go read it please. It is fantastic and amazing and I promise you, you will love it. I'm going to be all over the place with this, so if I had just up between different parts of the story. I apologize. I'm trying to break this up into some form of sections. So first I'm going to talk about just the writing in general. Her writing is so incredibly smooth and easy to read and beautiful and just makes this book so lighthearted. Now this is written in multiple POV. It is those two characters that I mentioned and while normally in any other situation multiple POV makes me nervous. I don't tend to like it very often because there's always one character that I for sure want to focus on and others that I either hate or I don't care about. For this it was was not like that. I enjoyed both points of view so much. Both sides of the story were incredibly fun and interesting to read about. Also flow so seamlessly together as chapters. There's never a moment where it goes to another story and it just feels like we dropped off and ran to something else. The dialogue. Her writing for the dialogue is fantastic. There are so many sweet adorable moments but there are so many lines that had me cracking up and smiling like crazy. The dialogue was one of my favorite things in this. Next I want to talk about the relationships in this. First I want to talk about Elle and Darian's relationship. They are so incredibly cute together and so sweet together and it, it honestly just warms my heart so much to see a relationship between two people who love something this much and they can relate to each other with this because Darian is really the only person in Elle's life who understands her love of Starfield, who can make these references all the time, who can joke about it and talk about it and theorize about it and it's just incredibly adorable to see them talk about the show. Anytime they were texting together I was smiling. It didn't matter what they were talking about about. It didn't matter what the situation was. I just could not get this goofy grin off of my face every time I was reading their conversations. I was so confused on why Elle wasn't asking him more questions because he tends to know more about her than she knows about him for sure. And I understand why he's not telling her. I get that. I completely understand that. But why Elle wasn't asking more questions about him? She kind of just completely trusted him, which says a lot for her character, which I think was great. But I just could not imagine myself in this situation and not wanting to ask more questions. They work so well together because of how caring they both are and I loved the fact that they were both just such sweet people. The main thing that I want to talk about is this is going to jump directly to the end real quick and talk about Darian crying at the very end when they finally meet and talk and know who each other are officially. It was so incredibly sweet. I loved it so much. You do not see that very often for any male characters. I'm so glad that he was because I love that. It, it just opens him up and it shows how vulnerable he is and how big of a chance he's taking on this and how how scared he is in the situation, how happy he is that he's able to finally meet this person who's been such a big deal to him over this time of them talking. And next I want to talk about Ella and Sage's relationship. Sage is a phenomenal character in this story. Sage is her co-worker and she's this insanely crazy quirky character and you can tell that she has this tough exterior that most people see and that's why her and Elle don't have a 
friendship automatically and that that's something that has to grow over time and I just love the fact that Sage is so completely caring for Elle and seeing their friendship grow and how strong their friendship became and how important it was for both of them to have this friendship because they aren't the type of people who really make friends easily. I love that they would do anything for each other and they stand up for each other throughout this entire story and I love that. And not to mention the entire scene of her meeting up with Darian at the truck and then driving him to the country club. Hilarious. I was dying laughing the entire time because of everything that she was saying to Darian and the fact that she just starts flooring it to the country club and blares the music and you can just that entire last scene was one of my favorite things in this entire book. Now do you want to talk about Sage's mother a little bit because of the fact that even though she's such a short character in this book and you don't really see her that often she is there and she does have some dialogue with Elle and seeing her relationship with Sage while they kind of just spat back and forth a little bit you can definitely tell that there's a really nice connection between a mother and daughter. You see Sage's mom be so kind to Elle and the line where she says uh, if you ever need any motherly love you can always come to me or something like that I just it was adorable and fantastic and I love that so much because Elle doesn't have that relationship with her own mom because she died so early and then her relationship with Catherine her stepmother is basically nothing and I think it's so important for her to kind of see that motherly relationship. Next I want to talk about Elle's relationship with her sisters. First Chloe the evil one. Everything that she did to Elle. Her being so incredibly harsh and terrible to her sister even though their stepsisters was just insane to me. The stepsisters and the stepmother not really having that relationship with him like Elle does. I get where that can bother them but that is never an excuse for them to do what they did which is why I think Cal's character is so incredibly important. We see Cal in the beginning and while we automatically assume that she is going to be as evil as Chloe is you don't really see her do as much. You can tell she doesn't really want to do anything evil towards Elle. She cares about her and wants that relationship with her and I loved the fact that we got to see Cal kind of open up with Elle and see their relationship grow and I think it's fantastic to have this actual family relationship between those two even though they're not blood related. Elle's only relationships throughout the book are not family and that's why I think it was so incredibly important to have Cal's relationship with Elle be as fantastic as it was by the end because that is a family connection that I think Elle needed and Cal needed and I, I love the fact that they became friends in the end which is why I absolutely adored the scene when Elle is getting ready for the cosplay event and Cal comes in and gives her part of her costume and then this other girl comes in and gives Elle a piece of the costume and then they get an entire group of people to come in and they're talking about about how important this convention is to them and how important that her dad created this for all of these people. I loved that scene so much and you can see all of the emotion that Elle is feeling because of this and all of her memories of her parents and I just I love that scene so much. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of Cal and Sage. I love the fact they get together. It's fantastic and adorable. I'm saying fantastic and adorable way too much but it is. Seeing them especially at the convention when Cal just blurts out no she's hanging out with me instead of going to the dance with you and I just love that Sage was, was so completely shocked by what was happening and so confused and it's the first time you really see her get tongue-tied in a situation and I, I loved their relationship so much. And finally I want to talk about Elle and Catherine's relationship. Well, you can see her moments of just maybe she's going to understand what she's doing and will be kinder to Elle and then she just reverts back to this terrible person. It's another situation where no matter what the situation was with Elle's father, no matter how she feels about their relationship together. This is Elle's father who she had this incredibly strong relationship with. Trying to get Elle to completely shove Starfield out of her life is such a harsh terrible thing to say to someone who needs that after their father passed away. And I hate that Catherine doesn't really understand that. She doesn't get it. She just thinks that it's it's not real that Elle needs to let it go. I hated that conversation so much because you could see Catherine not really understanding it. Last character that I want to talk about is Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank is this little Dawson right here who is probably my favorite character in the entire book and he's not even really in it that much. One, I love any story that has a dog in it or an animal in it that's in it a lot. I, I love that. I think it's fantastic. I wish there were more books with animal sidekick type characters in it. I'm not gonna say that I'm slightly biased because of the fact that it's a Dotson and I happen to have a Dotson myself. This is a Cinderella retelling. There are moments that definitely nod towards that whether it's the glass slipper or the ball or the time she has to be home or the stepsisters and stepmother and her having to clean everything and the pumpkin food truck. Like all of these are nods to the original Cinderella story and I, I love that. I think it's fantastic but this story also stands on its own so well. I loved the ending. We go to the movie premiere and I loved the fact that it was talked about their long distance because of the fact that he's an 
factor and all the struggles they have with that and I think that's fantastic that they kept that in the story and it wasn't just the relationship was super easy after that. I love that they had their struggles and were still trying to figure things out. I just love the fact that it ended with her talking about the movie and it was so nice seeing that last blog post. It really ended things perfectly. If you've read Geekerilla, please let me know all of your thoughts down below. I would love to talk about this with all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.